Hello everyone, myself Tanu. As we can see on screen, today I will describe about pure principles of management. Before I proceed to presentation, I would like to thank my guide Anikesh Sutradhar sir, who helped me in this presentation. By the end of this presentation, you will understand basic principles of managing a firm or a business. Before understanding the principles of management, we need to know meaning of management. Let's see what is the meaning of management. Management principle are the statement of fundamental truth, which act as guidelines for taking managerial actions and decisions. Fuel's administrative management theory can be described as an approach to management and increasing productivity by emphasizing organizational structure and a human behavior. Now let's move to the features of principles of management. The principle of management have been developed on the basis of live experience of happening of the past. The main features of management principles are in next slide. And the first one, universal application. The principle of management are universal in nature. That means they can be applied to all types of organization. It is irrespective of their size and nature. For example, the principle of division of labor can be applied to all the organization and result in specialization through the degree of specialization may vary depending upon the nature and size of organization. Okay. Next, general guidelines. Management principles are not static or absolute statements. This cannot be applied blindly in all the situations. It depends on condition and nature or of organizations. For example, the principle of fair remuneration insists on fair or adequate salary to employ, but what amount of salary is fair depend upon the nature, size and financial capacity of the company. Fair may mean rupees 50,000 per month to a multinational company and it may mean 5,000 per month to a small company. So, principles do not specify the absolute amount to be paid, but there is relativity depending upon paying capacity of a different company. Okay. Next one is flexibility. Flexibility. Management principle can be applied differently under different conditions. Some changes can be made in application of principles according to the requirement of the company. These are not set on right statements. For example, the principle of centralization and insist on centration of power and authority at top level but the extent and degree of centralization may vary according to the nature of organization and centralization does not mean total centralization. There can be use of decentralization at lower level if organization demands it. For next one is And the next one is behavior in nature. Management principles are formed to guide and influence the behavior of employee. For example, principle of discipline improves commitment of employees towards the organization and principle of expert crops mute to behavior of employees toward the team spirit. And the last one is contingent. Management principles are contingent or depend upon the situation. Prevailing in organization, 
their application and effect depend upon the nature of organization for example principle of team spirit is very important for an organization where work is carried out by a group of people whereas it is of no use in the companies where work is performed by individual and not by a group all right let's turn to fewer principles of management henry fewer become famous as father of management studies and thought because of the following contribution the first contribution is he made clear distinction between technical and managerial skill he identified the main step in the process of management which are considered the major functions of management planning organization staffing directing controlling and he developed 14 principles of management which act as guideline for managers to perform managerial activities here the here the principles of management the first principle is principle of division of work according to this principle the whole work must be divided into small tasks or unit and instead or assign the whole work to one person on one task or unit of work should be assigned to one person according to the capability qualification and experience of the person for example in a furniture manufacturing company one person can be asked to cut the wood pieces one to join them one to polish one to give finishing touch to furniture with this division each person will become specialized in the part of job and his effectiveness and efficiency improves the next principle is the next one is principle of authority and responsibility authority means power to take take decisions responsibility means obligation to complete the job assigned on time according to the principle there must be balance or parity between the authority and responsibility for example if a person is given responsibility to produce 100 unit units in one week time but he is not given authority to purchase the raw materials if there is no raw material available in the store room as a result he could not complete the target of producing 100 units on time the worker cannot be blamed for not completing on time because he was given only the responsibility and not the matching authority to carry on the work excess the responsibility with less authority result in non completion of job okay now next principle of discipline discipline refers to general rules regulation for systematic working in an organization discipline does not mean only rules and regulation but it also mean developing commitment in the employees towards organization as well as toward each other for example the employees must honor their commitment towards the organization by working effectively and efficiently on the other hand superiors must also meet their commitments by meeting their promises of increments promotions wages revisions etc okay next one is principle of unity of command according to the principle an employee should receive order from one boss only because if he is receiving order from more than one boss then he will get confused and will not be able to understand that whose order must be executed first and on the other hand if employee is receiving order from more bosses 
he gets chance to give excuse by saying that he was busy in executing the orders of their of other bosses for example if employee of production department in asks to go slow in production to maintain quality standard by the production in charge and says in charge is instruct the employee to fasten the production to meet the pending orders in this situation employee will get confused as the whose instruction must be followed by him next one is unity of direction according to the principle one unit means one plan that is the effort of all the members and employee of organization must be directed towards one direction that is achievement of common goal for example if an organization is producing different lines of product cosmetics medicines etc items each product has its own market and its own business environment each division must plan its target and every employee of the division must put his efforts toward the achievement of plan of their division under the direction of one head only okay the next one is subordination of individual interest to general interest according to this principle the interest of organization must supersede to interest of individual or employees in the organization all the employees are working with some objective and there is always an objective of organization for example if individual objectives is it on more remuneration and organization is going through the situation of financial crisis and has the objective of cutting down the expenses in the situation the individual must sacrifice the his interest as when organization will come out from the financial crisis then he can achieve the his objectives okay next principle 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 of remuneration of person according to this principle employees in the organization must be paid fairly or adequately to give them maximum satisfaction the remuneration must be just and fair because if employees are underpaid they will not be satisfied and then unsatisfied person can never contribute his maximum for example if in a particular year the organization has earned more profit than apart from giving extra profit to shareholders and owners some part of profit must be given to employ also in the form of bonus this will encourage and motivate to put more efforts and increase the profit of the company the next one is principle of centralization and decentralization <coughs> centralization refers to concentration of authority or power in few hands at the top of level decentralization means evenly distribution of power at every level of management according to the fuel a company must not be completely centralized or completely decentralized but there must be combination of both depending upon the nature and size of organization for example the major decision and activities of setting up organizational goals plans policies strategies can be centralized but there can be policy of decentralization for the activities of routine work such as purchase of raw material fixing targets of workers etc next principle is the next principle is principle of scalar chain 
Scalar chain means line of authority or chain of superiors from highest or lower rank. Fuel insists that this chain must be followed strictly in the organization. Every information must pass through every key of this chain. No skipping of any one key should be allowed. For example, if E wants to pass some urgent information. E wants to pass some urgent information to O. Then instead of following the long route of scalar chain, he can directly communicate with O by constructing a gangplank. But no gangplank can be constructed between the people working at different levels. That is no gangplank between D and L. There is direct communication. Okay. The next one is principle of order. In this principle order does not mean command but it refers to orderly arrangement of main and material that is fixed place or everything and everyone is in the organization. Fuel insists that there must be a fixed place to keep their material and thing used in the organization and fixed place or seat or cabin for every employee of the organization so that no time and energy is wasted in search of any material or any person. For example, if a worker, if a worker is in need of a tool, he must know in which box or tool room it will be found and if he needs guidance from supervisor, he must know the fixed cabin of supervisor. If no fixed place in given, then worker will waste his time and energy in search of tools or supervisor. Next one is 11 number principle of equity. Equity refers to kind, fair and just treatment to employ. Will put Employee will put their maximum effort only when they are treated with kindness and justice. For example, the rules of guaranteeing medical leaves to an employee should be same irrespective of their position, grade or gender. The 12th number, stability of tenure of personnel. It, is, it refers to no frequent termination and transfer. According to this principle, the management must provide the feeling of job security among the employees because with the feeling of insecurity for the job, the employees cannot contribute their maximum. The next 13, 13 number, principle of initiative. Initiative refers to chalking out the plan and then implementing the same. Fewer suggested that employees in the organization must be given an opportunity to take some initiative in making and executing a plan. For example, before setting up of the plan, managers must welcome the suggestion and ideas of employees to allow their maximum participation. But once the plan is made, every employee must follow it and implement it. And the last one is and the last one is principle of Esprit de Corps. Esprit de Corps means union is strength. Fuel emphasized on the teamwork. He suggested that every employee in the organization must consider him as a part or member of team and Try to achieve the team goal because team contribution always better than individual contribution. For example, if the production manager assign a target of manufacturing 100 units to a group of 10 members, divided the target among themselves to produce 10 units each, 
principle of team spirit says that each member of the group should not concentrate only on achieving his individual target of 10 units but they must concentrate on achieving group target of 100 units so if two workers of that group fall sick then the other eight members must divide their individual target among themselves and try to achieve the target of their group so let me now summarize fuel's 14 principles of management which provide valuable insights into how organization can achieve efficiency effectiveness and harmony so thank you everyone